it's divine d <laughs> yeah that she remix i don't know why they think she couldn't do it i mean Everybody wanna know where she be, where she at I'm spending time with my father, the only one who got my back Each day I pray they see the Holy Spirit that lives in me Thanks be to God, I know that I've been set free God forgive me of all my sins, I'm a sugar-coated Truth I sin, sliding into success Not slave, but saying never Panicky about pressure, just a diamond that shines A good name is be chosen rather than great riches It's divine, D that she and welcome welcome back hey chosen ones and welcome back to another video with your girl i've been missing in action for the longest i know my bad i honestly don't have really much of an excuse besides i was sick but i was not sick for four weeks i'm just gonna say i really don't have an excuse because school is not really an excuse like that for me because i do have time to make videos it's just that every time i say i'm gonna make a video i never end up doing it I'm breaking that happen and I will start making videos again. But today we are going over uh, some movies on my movie list for you Christian girls and boys, men and women, whoever, whatever. Um, these movies are Christian based. So when I say Christian movies, that doesn't mean there won't be some stuff. Well, in these ones, I don't think there's not. But that, that doesn't mean necessarily that there won't be some stuff that may alarm you, but they're Christian-related, faith-based related movies. Uh, so these, I know Christians, it's very important. Please listen to me because when I say this, I'm very serious. And I say this with all seri seriousness and all, I don't mean to sound like a Bible thumper or anything, but I'm very serious when I say this. What you watch, what you listen to influences you and it has an effect on you and it's very important as a christian or as anybody in general but to christians that you be careful of what you're watching and when you're what you're listening to because it's very important so with these movies i'm going to help you to be able to watch the right stuff and have a good time for your movie night or just because you're bored or just because you know you want to watch a movie so with these i do have a full playlist on christian based movies so you can go to my playlist section under my channel or it should be probably in the link the link below um in the description box if not i will uh put it in at the end of the video the playlist but you have to watch all the way until the end of the video for the outro for it to pop up uh so under there is where you will find more videos like this that have christian movies and you guys know i usually do four at a time so that's what we're going to stick to today and if i can find where i got the movie from or if i find the movie on youtube i do link the full movie in the description box for you to watch so you don't have to struggle to find it if you can't find it elsewhere but most of these movies do end up coming from prime video or youtube so that is the good thing i don't have netflix so none of the stuff that i recommend will most likely come from like netflix unless it's on netflix as well but anyways, let's get into the video. So the first movie is called a It's a Life Worth Living. And with that movie, it is about a husband who is with his wife and his wife suspects something's up. And she actually ended up being right when she walks in and busts her husband doing drugs in the shed. And he was actually doing crack, cocaine, crack, cocaine. I don't really know if this is. <laughs> Please, I'm not a drug expert, okay? I'm just a high school student trying to help you out. <laughs> but she catches her husband and she immediately leaves to go to her mom's house. And she technically kind of gives up and she doesn't want to give up. But he struggles with this so badly and he ends up getting strung out on drugs until one day he decides to. Uh, get back on the right track and get off of drugs and save his marriage and it all ends up he getting he ends up I think getting back with the girl and he she ends up trusting him slightly and building back the relationship and at the end he actually the reason why he does 
these drugs or the reason why he's so influenced like this to do these things kind of is revealed at the end and I'm not going to spoil that moment because you have to watch the movie I don't really like giving out too much spoilers if you haven't known that already you now know that so the next movie I watched is called Freshman Year and I actually this is one of my favorites okay not only because it dealt with uh teens around my age but because it was interesting and I feel like it's something that goes on in the church a lot or in Christians lives and nobody talks about it because they kind of sweep it under the rug it's a very realistic situation that goes on with a lot of people and it's not talked about basically there is this kid who is the son of a pastor I know you can imagine how that goes and he lives with his mom and his little sister they uh are I guess you can say a wealthy family and he goes to a good school so he was going to a good high school and he graduates from that high school and goes to college so it's his freshman year of college he ends up going to college mind you he's the top student of his class he ends up falling in love with this girl so although he was a a high student top of his class he ends up dropping out of school the next movie is he called he watches over me oh this movie was about a man who was actually sick i believe this was the right movie yeah uh no is that the right movie he watches over me hold on let me zoom in guys because i can't see so he watches over me was about a mother and a wife who was dropping off her daughter one day to rehearsal and it was around Christmas time and what she dropped her off to rehearsal and she was coming out by herself late at night to go back to her car um, this guy ends up pulling her behind the church and rapes her now this woman is very traumatized and it does affect her relationship with her daughter and her husband her daughters and her husband and she ended up going to stay with a friend or her mom I think it was her a friend though she wanted to go stay with them and she was isolated from her family and she was very depressed and she didn't want to talk about it and that caused problems in her marriage and with her daughters and they started to believe that she they they were doing something to her and that she that they were in the wrong and that she hated them when that's not really the case until one day the daughter one of the daughters goes and talks to the mom and she tells her what happened and she asks her not to tell anyone and the daughter tells her no she can't do that she that she will tell and the mom begs her not to and then one night she ended up going to tell her dad quietly what happened to her mom and her dad understands and he goes to her and confronts her about it and they become a happy family all over again and that really sends off a message that you can't keep silent forever and you're going to have to let it out one day because god will expose the truth if you don't um the last movie on the list is called do you believe and this was about a bunch of different stories based into one movie and I like how it all came together at the end because all the characters came together at the end. And it was a bunch of different faith-based movies about how they each didn't believe or some way their faith was broken and their faith all became restored in one way or another. And I like that it was a bunch of different stories put into one. And I highly recommend it because it was one of my favorites. And it all had some type of thing to do with either accidents or non-believers or drugs or whatever and it all came together so well and the producers and everybody did such a great amazing job so I recommend you guys watch these movies I know this was such a quick video but these are going to make your movie night awesome and amazing I will leave the ratings to each video if I can find it, you guys know how I leave it on the screen. Uh, these movies, all of these movies, I do rate them. Most of them, they all, in total, they get from an 8 
out of 10. And that's not for just each movie individual. I mean, like, all together. So, I I loved these movies. These were some of my favorite batch of movies. Um, if you guys want to stick, stay tuned for episode four, if you watch them, please comment. Your comments are helpful. I love reading comments, and I do my best to reply to each and every one I see. So, please, it makes my day. It gives me something to do. Please drop a comment saying something about one of these movies or you know and be sure to watch my other videos because i have so much christian content for you guys and without further ado it's divine d that she is she is out get it right this ain't no game this ain't 2k so listen to what he says i gotta obey my god that's my lord that's my savior where would i be right now if it wasn't for his grace and mercy he protects me every day i walk these streets you gotta listen to what i say it's not sinking in where they need to get it the lord is calling all his people and he's calling on his people like moses